Creating Subcircuits from Spice Netlists with Tina Cloud. In Tina Cloud, you can create your own components from any Spice subcircuit that you have made or downloaded from the internet. In this tutorial, we will present how to create a Tina macro component using a THS4121 Spice subcircuit downloaded previously from the web. Note that Tina and Tina Cloud use the same macro components. Start Tina Cloud. First, save the file under the name THS4121 underscore test underscore circuit dot TSC. Click the Insert button, denoted by a green plus sign, to invoke the Insert menu. Select Upload Macro. Let's name the new macro as THS4121. Switch into From File from Current Circuit. Then click Browse. In the Downloads folder, enter THS4121.CIR into the File Name field. Then click Open. Click Upload. Now you have to specify the names, shown as labels, of the macro pins, and also, if you wish, you can place them anywhere around the box. To move VSS slash question mark label, select it by holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse. Then press the right mouse button and select Cut. Now move your mouse to the place where you would like to insert the text and select Paste from the pop-up menu. The question mark must be replaced by the macro pin name, so write VSS slash VSS. Repeat this procedure for all items where it is needed. Click OK. To check the newly created macro, select Insert Macro from the Insert plus sign menu. Select THS4121 from the dialog window of the user macros, then press OK. The newly created macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it wherever you wish on the workspace. To check its content, double-click the macro. Then press the three dots button, Details, in the sub-CKT content line. Note that the netlist also contains an auxiliary subcircuit. Click OK. Now you can create an application circuit by adding other components. Let's create the circuit like the one on this sample schematic. Double-click the component. Then, in the Property dialog, enter the required component value and press OK. Let's test the DC operation by pressing the Interactive DC button. The model works as expected. For more information, visit our website at tinacloud.com. Visit our YouTube channel to youtube.com slash user slash tinadesignsuite.